Hello, Junior Dialog Coders. Today in this session, we will explore very interesting thing, which is called the Sprite Lab. What is a Sprite Lab? A Sprite Lab is a development interface using which you can create your own scenes, you can create your own stories, you can even build your games. Uh, sprite Lab basically works on Sprite. And now what are these Sprites? A sprite could be, could be, could be, could be a character of pure story. It could be an object, maybe like this. It could be an object or it could even be a character of your game. So let's get started. The first step is log into your code.org account. Once you log in, on the home page, you will see this create button. Click here, you will see Sprite Lab. This Pingu is the Sprite Lab. Click on this and you will land into Sprite Lab. When you land here, you will see a couple of sections. This is the place where your code is executed. This is called Canvas. On this Canvas, your uh, characters, your sprites are put up. And when you click on Run button, the code will be executed. This is the workspace where you actually write your code. This is the place from where you can select the commands. Uh, when you click on Word, you will see several commands. On a sprite, you will see the commands and so on. These commands are categorized in different groups, in different logical groups, basically. So, for example, this maths will have some commands related to maths. Logic will have commands related to logic. Uh, loops has command related to how we can create the loops. Behavior have the commands to apply some behavior to your sprites and etc. etc. Okay, so now what is the sprite? Uh, this particular bunny which you see on this screen is the sprite. How we can make a sprite? When you go to this sprites option, you will see a command make new sprite at so and so position. So we drag it here. You can see this bunny is being uh, created or being drawn at this particular position, 200 to 200. Uh, let's understand about this positioning first. You can see this canvas where my code is executed. This is the x-axis of this canvas and this is the y-axis. Uh, when we want to define the position of a sprint, this is this position is 0, 0, and this position is 400, 0. This is 0, 400, and this position is 400 and 400. So basically, this area is divided into 0 to 400 pixels in x axis and 0 to 400 pixels in y axis. Uh, position is always written like this, x position and y position. So for example, if I want to say 200, 200, which means uh, first you go towards x axis 200 pixels and then from here you go towards y axis 200 pixels. So this will be your position 200 and 200. So when we are learning Sprite Lab, um, let's create a scene. Let's create a scene of a story. What would you like to create? Maybe to begin with, we can create a park with some trees, some birds, a brightly shining sun, and maybe some vehicles. So first thing, when we are trying to draw something, what do you do? You will create a background. So let's create a background. So you can create a background with this, with this command, set background to. You can choose from the various available backgrounds now because we want to create a park. I will pick something that's more or less looks like a park. This one, yeah, this one looks great. Okay, uh, next I would like to create a tree. So as I told you, a sprite is nothing but an object in your story or a character of your game. So let's go to a sprite, make a new sprite. Okay, when you see uh, it is always coming with this by default sprite, which is bunny, we would like to change it. 
click on this triangle button, go to costumes, and you can add a new costume for this as bright. Let me search for a tree. You can pick any of them. Uh, I am picking this one. Go to code. Take this costume for the for your sprite. Now position it. By default, it is at 200 and 200 position. Uh, before positioning, let's resize it. When you go to a sprite, you will set a command to set the size of a sprite. Let me resize it so my tree looks a little bigger. 250. Good, but I can probably make it a little bigger. Yeah, 300 looks good. Now next I will resize it. To resize it, click on this particular icon and now you can drag it. And you can place it wherever you want to place it. Yes, I placed it here. Um, let's create some more sprites. Let's create a bird. Again, same thing we will have to repeat. Take a costume which is like a bird. You can pick any of them. Let me pick up, let me pick up this one. Okay, go to code and change the size. Mm, 25. Okay, looks good. Position it. Yeah, let's create a sun. Same way, go to sprite, select a new costume. Um, this one is looking very cute. Let me pick this one. Again, position it. The size looks good to me, so probably I will not be resizing it. Yes. So next, um, what object I would like to put on my story? Um, maybe a kid. Make new sprite. I will select from the existing Mm. This looks good. I will position it. And then let me resize it. good. So now we created a background, we created a couple of sprites. This is the time to add some behaviors to these sprites. How we can add the behaviors to sprites? If you go to these behaviors tab, you will see there is an option when a sprite begins, when a sprite stops. So what actually these two commands says? Do something when a sprite begins, do something when a sprite stops, or uh, it says what should be the behavior of this particular sprite. So, for example, when we are saying sun, we would like to put a behavior, then on my story, the, the sun should be shining bright. Maybe my bird should be uh, moving a little bit here and there. Yeah. So, let's put those kind of behavior to our sprites now. First, I will pick sun. If you again go to behaviors, you will see there are some ready-made behaviors given to you. While there is an option to create your own behavior as well, we will see how to create behavior in later chapters or later sessions. Uh, for now, let's pick from one of the existing ones. So maybe to sun, I would like to give a behavior of jittering. Let's run it and see how does it goes. Yeah, you can see now the sun is a little bit sort of jittering, shining bright. So this looks good. Let's give a behavior to our bird as well. I would like to give some other behavior to bird. Bird should be 
wobbling. Yeah, looks good. So now we what we created a background. We created a couple of a sprites. We saw how we can resize a sprite. We saw how we can position them. We also saw how how we can apply the behaviors to a sprite. Uh, what next? Let's see how we can change the color of a sprite. This command change color. Let's change color of bird to say, for example, yellow. I will reset and run. Yeah. Let me change it to yellow. Let me, yeah. Let me reset and run. You will see the color of bird is changed to yellow. So we saw what next? Let me give a title to my story or my scene. Go to word. You will see option like this option. Show title is string and show subtitle. So I can put a title, I can give a title to my story or my scene, I can put a subtitle as well. Okay. Now when we have put a title and subtitle, I believe we do not want this title and subtitle to be appear forever. Let's put something so that this could be controlled. I am putting this event at after a particular time what uh, what we want my page to look like so after two seconds i am giving the command to remove this title or hide title screen okay let's reset and run Yeah, so you can see after two seconds, this title screen is hidden now. Uh, what next? In our next session, we will see how we can make these uh, sprites interactive to something uh, with events. So stay tuned with us. Bye-bye.